Hey guys, welcome back to Little Alchemist Helper. Mr. Anderson here, back with another beginner's guide video. But before I get into it, a little bit of channel news. I want to let you guys know that this will be my last video in the beginner's guide series. Um, and that's mainly because at this point, the line between it being beginner's information and not beginning beginner's information is really, really starting to get blurred. But, you know, enough about that. So just everything else is just going to go in the general kind of tips videos or it's going to be low-key little alchemist or it will be um, gem gathering guides. So what I want to show you today is the main difference between the little aisles and the little town. Gotta make sure I got my right deck selected. So when you're playing, what you'll notice is that all of the bosses on this map are significantly easier than all of the bosses on this map. And the reason for that is not exactly self-evident. So let's go actually take a quick look into how um, how the bosses play, and I'm actually gonna I'm gonna turn the battle speed down so I can help show this to you guys. Okay, so we're gonna start off with Clyde. He's the hardest boss in this set. Um, so I'm just gonna launch into a battle. I'm gonna try and kill him slowly. Um, that hand is full of onyx cards and will not accomplish that goal. So, again, sorry for the slow animations, but... Alright, so we'll see what his first card... Okay, so his first card is Punchy, and it's level 5, it's a combo card, and it's 2615. Okay, so you see the C, the green C that he has, 26 attack, 15 defense. If we go over here to my little wiki tool... you can see that Punchy has only two recipes, both of which require a gold combo card. So, the way that you calculate the card stats is you go here and you look at their base stats, so their level 1 stats for the card, and because it's gold, um, for every level each of these stats should get a plus three modifier. So for level two would be three, level um, level three it would be a total of six, level four it would be a total of um, nine, and then level five it should be a total of twelve. And that's to each stat. Now this is showing the final form card stats, and because it's diamond it's, it's plusing it up, for each time, but that's neither of these examples are what's happening in the game because so if it was 18 plus shoot, I need to start it with that. I hate doing this in the phone app, but I can do it anyway. Okay, so it should have been 18 for the base stat. Plus, okay, math, there we go. Three for gold, because you get a one, a one boost for gold, two boost for silver, three boost for diamond, and a four boost for onyx. Okay, times the number of levels gained. So that's four. His attack stat should have been 30. What it actually was, was 26. So where did those four extra attack go? That's the real question, is where did the four extra attack go? And the answer to that is, this three modifier 
that it got for being for using a gold combo gets forcibly reduced down to two. And if I can. going to take this and just put that right as that cell there so it just keeps track of that for me okay so there's your 26 that's the magic formula so we'll keep that in mind as we keep playing hopefully we didn't crash our game as we go hop back and forth And then all of this, of course, automatically applies to the defense stat as well. But we're just going to look at them one at a time just because it's a little bit easier. Okay, so second card here. This is a final form. So it should get four per level because it's diamond. It should get four per level um, off of its base stats for both attack and defense. And, and we'll see what it ended up getting. Come on. So we put the swamp monster in there. And then if you guys want access to this file, I will definitely leave a link in the description. Can you get this box to go away? Thank you. Okay, so that's a 1212. And so, again, it should have gotten four points for level because this isn't a combo card. So the recipes don't matter. This was a final form card. See the, oops, see the F instead of the, the C underneath? It's five. So it really should have gotten a plus four, plus four um, per level. And you, you can see, since it calculated out here on that 20, again, it got only two points per the four levels and why that's a times four instead of a times five is it's one level up to get to two two level ups to get to three three levels up to get to four and then the four level up and that's how you get to five i know a lot of people get confused why don't you multiply it by five if it's level five it's because it's the amount of times it's changed not the level itself so even with the final form cards which should get the four point modifier it only gets that two point modifier. All right, we'll see if we can't find a few more examples and we'll just really prove this case and then it will be a, a done deal. Okay, Cyclone, level five, combo card. We'll see what this, what they should have gotten versus what they did get. So this is a Cyclone here. That's supposed to blank it out. I don't know why it doesn't. Let's see why. There we go. Cyclone. Okay, so again, you need that wind card. So it should be a three, because for the combo, it depends on the rarest card used in the formulation of the final form. So wind is going to be the gold tier final form that got used. And so it should be three points per level. And it didn't get that. Again, it, got, it hit 20 instead of instead of much higher where it should have been. So that's that's the reason. And this applies this this limit, this this two point modifier instead of three point or four point modifier, this applies to all of the little town bosses. And it it also applies to all of the bosses in the portals, both heroics and um the, the original limited time events. And it's the real reason that you can really make your heroics decks so attack heavy. Now, um, 
um, this should finish up here. And we can move on to the little islands and we'll see what what the math is there and why that's different. Yay, I got a seahorse. One more dust. Okay, so we'll back out. We'll head over to the little islands. And so this is why you move up one singular boss. You go from Clyde to Zug Zug and it just gets insanely difficult. So again, we'll just play more defensively. Okay, so he played Oberus. Oberos. If any of you guys want to correct my pronunciation of that, feel free. Pretty sure it's Oberos. You know what? I'm going to pick a less hard card to spell to do the stat check on. Don't judge me. I mean, it's not that hard. Literally every other letter is O. But we're, we're going we're gonna to do it. round two. Okay, Ancient Dragon. Okay, so we'll go back up here and we'll, we'll see if the little island bosses have that same handicap. Ancient Dragon. There we go. Okay. Okay, so let's take a, a closer look at that. Oh, I know that's dark, guys. I'm sorry. I wanted to... Here, maybe we can wait. And we'll... There it goes. Okay. Perfect. So, level 5 again. Combo card, 25 attack, 24 defense. Okay, so we'll see if our math checks out here. So for the combo card, again, it's using the, you know, a gold combo card. That's going to be its rarest one. That's time. But it doesn't, th this math doesn't work anymore. And this is why these bosses are so much more difficult. Because instead of a two cap, my fingers are too big for a smartphone. It's a three cap. So these cards instantly get four more points on both attack and defense. And that's every round of every battle, pretty much, they, they get that buff. And that really adds up over time, and that can make a huge, huge difference when it comes to having enough life to survive a, a critical strike or a crushing blow or a reflect, or having enough, you know, life to hold on while they, they just hit you with um, elementalist damage over and over and over again. So, little islands. These guys, they their handicap, it's still there. I mean, we'll check, we'll try and get a final form. And we'll see if they still have the handicap on the final form or not. That's that's our next test. So I'm just going to keep putting up defensive cards. Okay, so there's another really interesting case. So Night Dragon, you can't actually make with gold cards. There. So it's a combo card. Um, we're going to go over here and we're going to look at it. And I'll show you that they're not cheating. It's not... It's not it's not locked to that, like, three-point modifier. Come on. Okay, so we're going to put Night Dragon in there. Okay. So... The AI stacks don't have any of the limited time packs cards, so like it doesn't have access to moon, it doesn't have access to speed. How does that make it? This must not be right. 
Maybe I just found another bug in my wiki tool. Because isn't that void plus... Void plus dragon should make that. So I'm not sure why the wiki tool didn't pull that up. Um, yeah, it should be there. But anyway, random error. Get out of here. Thank you. Anyway, so it's making it with a void card and a dragon card. I'm almost certain. So it should get a two, it should go back to getting that two buff per level. And sure enough, 21, that's exactly what we see. So it's not locked in at three points per level, it's a maximum of three points per level. But I still wanna really try and find a diamond final form card, and then we'll have one complete understanding of exactly the handicap that's put on the AI. So there's again another one that's not too strong. Uh, so that's a final form. Yeah, we'll we'll use it. Geomancer. And I'm gonna have to look into the night dragon bug in this wiki tool. Because it's missing recipes and that concerns me. What are we looking at? Geomancer. Okay. So, again, it's either making it with Ash and Wizard or Earth and Wizard. I don't exactly know what its deck is, um, but I know it doesn't have Desert or Underground. So, that's that's where that is. Um, so it really should be... Wait, this is a final form. Why do I care about the recipes? Okay, with the final form, it should be still limited to level 5, 1723. And that's exactly what we saw. So yeah, with the final forms, it's just it calculates the stats exactly as normal. Like, if this would have been in the little town, it would have been limited to two points per level, but it got the full three points per level. Whoa, I don't want to kill it. Well, I'm dumb. Autopilot took over, and I was just like, I'm going to just blast this thing with a critical strike card, because I have one. So we'll play Zug Zug again, and we'll see if we can't get him to play a diamond level final form card, and then that's going to be kind of the last case You know what? We're not going to play Zug Zug. Zug Zug plays a lot of gold. We're going to move on to Ivana. I think she plays a decent amount of diamonds, and hopefully one of them will be a final form, and we can do some investigating. Okay. This should work. I just got to remember, don't, don't blast her with the final forms, the fused final forms. And we'll be just fine. Sure. A wear vamp. That still cracks me up because they had to change the name of the card because they wanted to introduce a new combo card with the card, the name that this card used to have. Bonus points if you know what I'm talking about. Come on, give me a final form. Apparently we're just gonna, we're just gonna heal, heal and hide forever. I know, I know she's more than capable of playing some fused cards, so I'm really hoping, okay, there's a final form. Spork of Doom, coming in at 28 attack, so we'll see. We'll see if their stats are just calculated the correct way, 
all of the time, or if they're limited on their final forms as well. Not sport. Spork of Doom. Spork of Doom. Okay, so this should be a 32, 23, all the way leveled up. It's a final form. What do we, and it's only 28. So there you have it. The little island bosses are actually handicapped. Most of the time it doesn't really matter. But they are handicapped to three. Three points. And I guess it does matter. It matters in like the heroics when they play onyx cards onyx should get four points per level on a combo and they only get three um no no that's that's wrong they only get two because they use the same math as the little town wow that really nerfs it no wonder you can get away with and that's why you can just get away with basically no defense in in heroics you know obviously you want healing but for the actual cards that you make, attack is so much more valuable because they're just not going to put up very high stat totals on either attack or defense. And it's because they're, you know, the math like includes an inherent handicap. Look, there's the there's a final form. That's exactly what I was looking for. But I just showed you. It's a diamond final form. Should get four points per level. It's only getting three, um, which is still significantly stronger than the two points per level that they get on the little town or in the little town so i know it's confusing i know it's a lot of um minutia but again that's why this is kind of the transition video if you've made it this far you're not really a beginner anymore um, you've got probably more knowledge about the game than 90 percent of the population if you followed me all the way through this video, it's probably more knowledge than in this game than, well, just about everybody else. So, that's where I'm going to leave it. I'm out of energy, so I could do another one. But there's no point, and this has probably been plenty long as it is. Um, but like I said, this might be my list last little alchemist beginner's guide video. But it's, it's not going to be the last one in the series. Top Dog will do some more of them as he completes his other events, and um, we've got plenty more content on the way. And um, so, just you know, if you want to keep seeing it, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And just um, you know, if you like this kind of video, hit that like button. It really does. It helps us out, and we really appreciate all the 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 comments and the questions and you guys hanging out with on Discord. It's it's great to have a whole community around this game. So with that, I will, uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.